My name is Alan Turing. I have a PhD in mathematics. Before the war started, I did research at Cambridge. Now I work at the Government Code and Cipher School in Bletchley Park. Good morning. Thank you. Aside from basic patriotism, I have my own reason to fight. To say any more would put my livelihood and reputation in jeopardy. That little machine at the table is the Nazi's co-generating device, the Enigma Cipher. My job, my one job, is to crack it. Hi, uh, Mr. Turing, you wanted to see me? Yes, Major Jones. You were right to recruit mathematicians, but we still have a problem. <laughs> Let me show you. For each key on the Enigma Cipher, there's a corresponding plug. But the wires can be rearranged, making any letter correspond to any other letter for the, in terms of what's encoded. Okay. This makes their 26 factorial combinations right away. And, that, and now we get to the actual encoding. Each cipher has five rotors, three of which are used at one time. So out of five, that means that there are 10 possible groups of three. Out of any group, because there are three objects, there are six possible orders. And out of those, each rotor has 26 possible orientations which means that for any given order, there's 26 cubed possibilities. In total, that makes 26 factorial times 26 cubed times 60 possible setups for the Enigma cipher. So are you saying you can or can't solve it? No human can crack this. But I do have an idea. It's an old idea, something I thought of in college. Let me show you. So my idea is a machine, an electronic machine. This machine would be capable of searching through the possibilities of the Enigma cipher much faster than a human could. If we built this machine, I'm confident we could use it to solve, to crack the codes in time for them to be relevant. Okay, I'll trust you. Thank you, sir. Do you mind explaining to me why your machine hasn't found the Enigma's key in its entire month of operation? Well, it, it's taking longer than I thought. It takes more than 24 hours because then the Nazis switched the settings on the Enigma cipher. That's your excuse? People are dying out there. Towns are being bombed, ships are being sunk, and we can't penetrate the Axis powers one I own. This is QWERTY. I just typed the first six letters of the keyboard when I realized something. I had my men check it out and... This is the alphabet, written numerous times different Enigma cipher settings. I'm absolutely certain of it. The Enigma cipher will never decode, encode a letter from itself to itself. So what? When we decode, we take a part of the encoded message called the ciphertext. We match it up to a crib, which is what we think it translates into, say, attack. By matching them up, then we set the parameters for the machines to solve it. By the way, we're calling the machines bombs, with an E, just because. But, but, now that the ciphertext will never equal the corresponding letter of plain text, a huge number of possibilities are eliminated. Prepare to be out Fox, Rommel. Come on, come on, you know this. Who am I kidding? I've got nothing. This is some sort of status report, which is so vague I can't identify any keywords. And then there's the ending. A four-letter word followed by a six-letter word. Wait a minute. Heil... Heil Hitler. It's, he's using it as a, as a closing. The last phrase is Heil Hitler. I can't believe I'm saying this, but yay!
a message. It says, train arrived. 900 sent to Birkenau. But you have the key for today. Yes, sir. Attack today with Stukas at Bletchley Park. Everybody okay? Fine, the bombs didn't hit any building. Get me Admiral Brown. I'm Alan Turing. I'm with the government code and... Yes, I have cleared to talk with him. Admiral? Okay. I need you to do something for me. I need you to mine a specific harbor. It doesn't matter which one. Just tell me. After you do, the harbor master will send a warning message. Intercept it and transfer it to Bletchley Park, Government Code and Cypher School. You can check with Major Henry Jones for clearance if you have to. All right, let's let's go solve this. Good thing we figured out today's setting so soon. I think we set a new record. Enigma messages are never this long. Sir, so we have let's a problem. Let's talk some more There's a bombing raid tonight. Okay. The target is Coventry. They're not prepared. We've already received intelligence about a possible attack. You've just confirmed it and given us the location. That's great. I don't like this. What are you up to? I'm giving you a direct order. You did not find the code today. Excuse me? You heard me. But that means Coventry will be bombed. I know. But I have family there. Bull. What are you doing insulting my family? I'm pretty damn sure you don't. Well, what about Coventry Cathedral? Have you no respect for the cross? I'm a devout Christian. I just think that the ideas are more important than the buildings. Coventry is a vital industrial city, but tightly packed. It's exceptionally vulnerable. That is true. The Nazis will be using some kind of bomb that explodes in midair. It maximizes destruction. So that is true also. Incendiaries, too. Mm -hmm. Coventry will be attacked by 513 planes. They don't stand a chance. I stand by my order. Who or what gives you the right to do this? Prime Minister Churchill. Well, well, well this is just Listen stupid. to me. Your efforts are great. They really are. But do you think we use every bit of information that you give us? We are blessed by Ares and Athena alike. That our enemies are too arrogant for their own good. They don't think that anyone can crack the precious enigma. But if we start to counter their every move, even the unorthodox and inventive, they'll know. We have to make sacrifices. We wouldn't suspect Coventry without you. If we counter, they might figure out that they've been foiled. And if that happens, London will fall. Look, take the rest of the day off. And remember, you didn't crack today's code. Coventry was helpless against the 513 aircraft that night. The use of incendiaries and the sheer amount of explosives triggered a firestorm. The city burned. It burned and burned and burned. Coventry Cathedral and many other historic buildings were damaged beyond all repair. No building escaped damage. Beyond that, three-fourths of the factories and 4,000 homes were destroyed. Hundreds died and thousands were wounded. It was the most devastating attack Britain ever faced. But for all its tragedy, maybe that old officer was right. The Germans haven't figured out my little secret. The day is June 5th, 1944, and I've been ordered to pull an all-nighter. Wait, make that June 6th. I'm crowded by officers and just a call away from I don't know who. They're eagerly awaiting any messages in fear. I guess I am too. New day, new code. I'm probably not allowed to tell you this, but I trust you. The Soviet troops are surging west. Anglo-American regiments are moving north through Italy. Today, 400,000 men will attack France on the beaches of Normandy. And I swear by everything I hold sacred, we will win this war.